Welcome to St. Alphonsus Rodriguez Roman Catholic Church in Woodstock, Maryland, a Jesuit parish. Today's reading is from Matthew, chapter 12, verse 1 through 8. Matthew, chapter 12, 1 through 8. It has somewhat of a personal ring for me because if I was alive then, I would be a scribe. Today, we call them attorneys. And as I always say, uh, it happens in the best of families, and my mom and dad love me. Jesus, throughout the Gospels, endlessly chides, I'm being kind, the scribes. And understandably so. And in this particular passage, we are talking about the issue of violating the laws as articulated by Pharisees, scribes, Sanhedrin, or Hedron, however you want to pronounce it, back in those days. And Jesus' disciples were picking grain because they were hungry and eating it on the Sabbath. And let us go back a little bit where Jesus said some time ago, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar and to me the things that are relevant to the kingdom of God. What is the message for us today? And it really is a critically important message. We should understand that the natural law, which is embedded in our souls, in our hearts, the natural law created by God, that natural law trumps, trumps, no pun intended, any form of civil law, positive law, constitutional law, monarchies law, thugs, despots, uh, whoever. And we as Christians understand that Jesus is the Lord and he trumps the laws of Caesar. He understands what that means, and he understands that mankind have, has to form some platform of stability and order and civility in order to govern their daily activities. But when that runs in conflict and tension with the natural law, and I assume today moral theology would be the place one would go to get more of a definition of the natural law. But when there is tension between any humanly created law under whatever form of governance that you have, and that law comes in conflict with the moral theology, with the natural law that is embedded in us, then we have to choose consciously which way we're going to go. And sometimes that can be very, very painful, and sometimes that can be very, very courageous, and you will suffer because you're doing it in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the law of heaven. Jesus is the Lord. At the same time, Jesus recommends mercy for those that violate not only the moral law, the natural law, but also the civil law. To forgive is one thing, and as we all know, to forget is hard. But to forgive, we can do. It's a liberating, psychological, emotional act on our part to forgive. We move on. We move on. The next step from that is mercy. 
Are we willing to take the next step? Forgiveness is one thing, but are we willing to take the next step and be merciful to the person who has done harm or damage to us and, and go forward on that basis? Very important lesson for us, particularly in today's world of secularism, relativism, nihilism, materialism, positive law, etc. Very, very, very important. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.